What's the dumbest thing a drunk friend has done? Traffic was stopped after a college basketball game so he decided to get out of his car and chat with a cop who was there keeping an eye on the crowds leaving the arena. She arrested him for DUI. Retrieved a beer cowsy that fell in a porter john. Ate food out of the trash can with the constanza excuse that it was on the top. Same friend. Drunk friend was relieving himself in a bush. Someone tapped him on the back. He turned round. Still continuing to pee. To find himself face to face with a policeman. Poor cop had pee all down his leg. But saw the funny side. A guy I knew in college came to a Halloween party on roller skates and got absolutely plastered. And proceeded to roller skate up and down the stairs. This ended predictably to everyone but him. And he fell and got hurt. Due to the anesthetic effects of being super drunk. However. No one realized how badly he was hurt. He passed out in the living room. And proceeded to pee all over the floor in the middle of the night because he couldn't walk to the bathroom. Turns out his leg was broken in two places. I also just mentioned in a bad roommate thread about a girl I knew in college who stole someone's cat while drunk and hid it in our campus housing apartment. My friend claims he was abducted by aliens one night on his way home from a local festival. In reality. He drank way too much Guinness. Tried to ride his bicycle home up the steepest hill in town. And blacked out in the process. It was 5 years ago. We just argued about it. Again. This weekend. Edit. Please start leaving him messages in random places from the aliens. Dumb. But funny. Had a friend with a prosthetic leg. Only he never told anyone about it who didn't already know. He always waited until a party was going well into the night and everyone, including himself, was plenty drunk. He then produce a large knife and get everyone's attention before plunging the blade into his leg. He'd then throw his head back and scream in, fake, pain. Oftentimes, people would scream in terror and go running out the front door. Everyone who knew him and were familiar with his antics would merely roll their eyes and ignore him. It was a funny prank. But a dumb one because sometimes the cops were called and an ambulance would show up. Cops and paramedics were never amused. Being way too drunk to drive. His girlfriend drove after a party. He had designated parking spaces at his apartment and when he didn't see his car. He started crying hysterically that his car was stolen. The car he was in at the time. Then he cried even harder for being dumb. It was me BTW. I'm the drunken dumbass. One of my favorite drunk memories was when I was probably 17 and we were drinking in a friend's basement and as everyone was going to bed one of the people there kept complaining about how uncomfortable their blanket was. In the morning we discovered he had been using one of those big rubber bottom drugs, like the kind you would put in a laundry room or something. He was also literally feet from a stack of blankets. He punched a horse. A police horse. With the cop still on it. At Mardi Gras in New Orleans. He spent some time in jail for that one. I was the friend. I visited some college buddies for the weekend. After a night at the bars. We were drunkenly devouring pizza in their apartment. A Ron Popeil commercial flashed across the TV screen. Advertising the latest Ronco gadget. A food dehydrator. I picked up the phone and ordered one for everyone in the room. Eight total. I even attempted to ask the nice customer sales lady on the other end out for a date. I did not get the date. But we did get our food dehydrators, and I got a $450 bill. We've never opened them, instead. We exchange them every Christmas. Jumped off a roof onto a trampoline. Missed the trampoline. Foot went partially through the gap between the springs. This happened in high school. We were roommates. The guy entered the room heavily drunk and crashed into his bed. He woke up about half an hour later. Knocked at the door from the inside three times and after a long pause. Said who's there? One of the guys a group of us were with at the bar in an upscale restaurant got carried away and, in a full voice, so all could hear, said, a round of drinks for everyone in the room is on me. 
Around 35 people ordered free drinks on him. The bartender put it on his tab. But when the bill eventually came. The guy had no money, no wallet. He had left it home. So the rest of us were stuck with a hefty bill because lots of people ordered the most expensive drinks available. Single malt scotch. Etc. If someone offers to buy you a drink you get the same thing you're already drinking or whatever you would buy yourself normally. Buying single malt on someone's tab just to get something expensive is rude and I don't feel bad they had to pay for it. Put a whole brick of cheese in the plastic still in the toaster oven turned it on and then went to bed. Years ago. My housemate had a friend over who got so drunk that he wandered outside. Forgot which house was ours and broke into the neighbor's house. So what stupid drunk thing did you do last night OP? In the hopes that some stories here will make you feel better about what you did? Not a friend but some guy who used to hang around us when we were teenagers. Kept saying he could smash some wire reinforced glass window with his head. After telling him how stupid it was enough times. Someone said go on then. He ran at it and rammed his head through it and when he pulled his head back out. Left half his face amongst the wire and glass. Pretty gruesome really. PSSH. Duck and showed you mate. Bet you felt pretty stupid just then. My friend was woke up one morning to the doorbell. There was a delivery guy holding a massive package. Turns out he got wasted and went mad on eBay. He took it in and opened it. It was a front bumper for a Ford Focus. He didn't have a car. He's gonna build it one piece at a time. Friend shat himself drunk during the night and decided to drunkenly throw his pants in the washer. He gets back up to retrieve the pants. Still drunk and starts pulling out all the laundry and furiously whipping it about the room to find the pants. The next morning we go downstairs and find that he has placed his tty pants into the dryer instead of the washer and let his turd bounce around with clean laundry. Climbed the USS Portland ship mast in waterfront park and took his shirt off and spun it overhead. All during the Portland Brewers Fest. Climbed down and disappeared into the crowd. Homecoming at my college. A cop car was driving slowly down the main street and a drunk guy thought it would be funny if he leapt out in front of the car and slammed himself on the hood like he got run over. Vomited all over his sister's new car inside passenger door and seat. Did a Mickey Mouse job cleaning it up and blamed it on me. Two weeks later after the smell was unbearable he went and got it professionally cleaned for $100 and then fessed up to his sister that it was him. Had a friend that thanks to Stella Artois, would get aggressive and start fights most nights. The last time we were out, he was walking past some bouncers with a cone on his head. A bouncer took it off his head and told him to behave. My friend squared up to the bouncer. But the bouncer laughed it off and ignored him. We walk around the corner and friend says ducking knob. Gonna knock him out. We attempt to talk him out of it. But he ignores us and storms off and pushes the wrong bouncer in the back sending him flying. Another bouncer then unleashes two almighty punches to friend's face. Who then proceeds to fall backwards against a metal shutter and slide down it like in a film making a dud 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 sound. After we plead with the bouncers to not beat him up. We get him in a taxi where he starts crying because his girlfriend would be mad his lip is split open and his face will be bruised for Christmas day at her parents house the next day. It's been 20 years and I have not missed him. Stood on the table at Steak and Shake. Loudly declaring we were all her ducklings and the only way she would agree to leave was if we all followed mama duck out of the restaurant. Quacking. We did. Slept next to a drunk radiator and cooked his shoulder without knowing until waking up. How did the radiator get drunk? My best friend in college got drunk and got his pickup stuck in a construction zone where he planned on having a sex with a girl, so. His drunken stupor. He called me at 1am to help him get back to campus. When I got there. There he was. And it turned out that the girl he tried to screw was my also very drunk, and soon former, girlfriend. Who was also so drunk she was glad to see me. And was oblivious to how horrible that moment was for me. Neither of them saw anything wrong. 
and the only reason I didn't drive off without them was that I was still 9 stroke tenths asleep and didn't fully comprehend what they were doing. At the time. I was considering transferring to another college that specialized in my major, that event was the last straw. Two friends. They made a bet on who could swim the farthest underwater. Long story short. They both went under and did not come back up. Two of the entourage were EMTs and another was an Olympic swimmer. If those three people were not there all would have perished. My best friend went to a party at her new boyfriend's house. Her plan was to sneak into his room before he decided to go to bed so that he could find her waiting there. Sprawled out in S's eye lingerie. Well. She instead got super drunk. Snuck into his room and got super disoriented while trying to take her clothes off. Her boyfriend walked in on her tangled up in her clothes. On her hands and knees. Puking into his shoes. Clot twist. They are married now. Someone I know tried to prove that he can drive a sports bike on a straight road with his eyes closed when he was extremely drunk. He drove off the road at a high speed and crashed into a giant boulder. The bike was smashed to bits and he was very badly injured. I visited him at the hospital and it looked like his body was mummified. He has a giant scar on his face from the accident. I ran the sink for a second to wash my hands off. We were painting. I don't even know where he got alcohol, and he said ooh, water, and proceeded to slam his face on the faucet. He's got a scar now. I know a girl who went streaking and passed out naked while drunk. Nobody saw or found her, but she could have wound up in a ton of bad situations. The party begins. Drinking ensues. Devon, a young man who was built like an ogre, quickly becomes inebriated. Ravellas form into various groups. Devon takes up a prone position on the couch. One of the impromptu assemblages of people decides they want to sit down. Devon proves difficult to rouse. But eventually sits up and scoots over. A conversation begins. Hang on. Devon shouts. The party goes nearly silent. Save for the music. Hang on. Devon says again. The conversation resumes. After a few minutes. Devon bellows hang on. Once more. Someone finally asks Devon what he wants. What? Asks Devon. What do you want? The other person repeats. Hang on. Devon replies. Hang on. Hang on. The phrase becomes a joke. Other people start repeating hang on. To each other. Oh. Yeah. Devon suddenly exclaims. He then baths all over everyone seated next to him. There are screams, and some laughter, as people flee. Devon lies back down on the soiled couch. Good. TL. DR. Hang on. Hang on. One of my friends at a bar screamed out all his kinks and fetishes. I'm too scared to talk to him now. Love making. Missionary. Hand holding. Kissing. Cunnilingus. Aftercare. One drunk friend was making out with a girl at a party on the couch. And turned away for a moment to talk to somebody. And turned back to start kissing again only to realize he was kissing another drunk friend. Also a guy. Who had stuck his head in the way of the girls. Edit. Holy crap this got over 1000 upvotes. Thanks everybody. He drank hand sanitizer thinking it was 99% alcohol. The label stated that it kills 99% of germs and bacteria. He misread the label. Long story short. He had to go to the hospital. I was driving as the DD and had a full car. And the friend sitting behind me thought it would be hilarious to yell dear. While I'm doing 60 down a back road. At 12. 30 am. I swerve. Looking for it. Have to swerve to avoid it in the opposite lane. And our friend riding in the trunk area of my hatchback. Got hit with a 12 pack of soda. In the head. I pull over to make sure everyone is okay. And the one behind me bolts from the car. And the one in the trunk follows him over the seat and throws the soda pack at him like a fat javelin. And hits him in the back. Good times. My friend and I were drunk and high. 
left him for a bit then found him talking to my dog. I know it's normal to talk to your dog but the thing was that he was also barking. I left him again then found him crying. I asked him why he was crying and he said that he lost the debate with my dog. Where to start? Got run over by a stationary car. We were out for New Year's Eve drinks and it had been snowing. He decided to run and kick a small snowdrift in the road. He slipped. His legs went under the front of a parked car and his face smacked into the radiator grills. Picked a drunken fight with a locked door. Walked into a door and it didn't move. Q5 minutes of you what mate and you wanna start? Full stop. Drunk texted his psycho ex for a booty call. Probably the dumbest thing anyone has ever done. Ever. Drunk or not. He jumped on top of the hammer of the owner of a strip club in front of his bouncers. I'm sure you can guess what happened next. Bouncers see that behavior more often than you would think. I always tried to be nicer about removing people from the tops of cars when I was a bouncer. We thought we lost a friend after clubbing one night. We were at IHOP and he just disappeared. After an hour of searching we called the police. They searched for a while and one of the employees found our friend in the dumpster out back. Dead. Good thing he was found. A few years ago in my city a 19 year old kid went to sleep in a dumpster on a night out in the morning after the bin men picked it up and he was crushed alive in the garbage truck. My best friend got drunk with his wife and her coworker, Who happened to be staying at their house during a rough patch for about a week. Wife went to bed. Co-worker and best friend wind up copulating as you'd expect. The next day he calls me still drunk in bewilderment that he did that. I told him fess up or shut up but whatever you do. Don't try it again. He and his wife hadn't been intimate in months rather. The co-worker was cool about everything the first day. Nothing was said. No innuendos. No hint anything was amiss. That is until my friend touched her thigh. To which she responded never again and brushed his hand away. Well as you'd expect. He got drunk again and thought he was good go and went for it. She slapped the shti out of him and told his wife. And found somewhere else to stay later that week. The wife did not take it well. This was years ago. They are still married. TL. DR. I'm convinced my best friend and his wife cheat on each other for attention of their ninja swingers. Knocked on the police station's door to complain about the cabaret kicking him out for being too drunk. Spent the night in the drunk tank. One night we, group of mid-twenties friends, were drinking at our friend's house. He was single. Living alone. And got way too drunk. But it was his house and he wasn't driving so who cares? He ends up puking all over his deck. He gets a bucket to rinse the deck off and he asks everyone have you ever seen a grown man clean up his own puke? And started laughing hysterically. We ask him that every time we see him now. Shared a room in college with a guy who was a few years younger than me. Went to sleep in our room while he went out to hang out with others in another apartment. Wake up when he comes home. Walks into our room. And tips a chest of drawers over my bed while I am sleeping. I had to push this thing off me. And drag his ass into bed. He didn't remember a thing. Another night. He gets drunk and decides to go on a walk at 2am in his leather. Matrix. Trench coat and someone calls the police saying he was walking into traffic. He gets arrested and spends the night in jail. Definitely turned his life around after that rude awakening and eventually got a job at Google. Had a friend trying to climb a lamppost whose bulb had blown. He insisted he was the replacement bulb and need to plug himself in. A bunch of us were walking back to our cars when one up front hops into the back seat of a car. Not one of ours. But with a couple in the front seat. The woman calmly says. So you need to leave. Funny as hell. My friend once downed like 8 Heinekens and drove straight into my neighbor's porch at 10pm. I had a tiny apartment. And he bathed in my closet because he thought he was in the bathroom. He was too drunk to explain why he thought my bathroom didn't have a toilet. A sink. Or a tub. Had a friend in college once. Knew the guy for about 2 years. 
One of my female's friends were looking for him, trying to hook up, and asked me to go find him. I walked outside and after 5 minutes finally found him near a big oak tree. Hey. John. Michaela is looking for you. I kid you not. He looked at me and said. Watch this. Then ran full speed at the tree and performed a drunken scissor kick to the tree. Fractured his leg that night. I don't talk to him anymore but I always wonder if he's still that rad. I'm the drunk friend in this story. My friends were trying to get me home from a frat party when a homeless man in a trench coat stopped us. Took an unlabeled bottle out of his coat. And offered it to me. Saying try this kid. It's 30% my friends obviously didn't want me to do it and tried to get me to leave. But in my drunken stupor. I gladly took the bottle. Put my arm over his shoulder. Cheered. And downed the bottle. I summarily blacked out and came to as campus paramedics shone a flashlight in my eyes outside of the dining hall. They said I was okay to go home. I totally wasn't. Then my friend brought me back to my dorm and tried to get me to change out of the clothes I had puked all over. When it was clear I was too drunk to even do that. She had to manually change my clothes like a baby. I felt terrible and apologized profusely to her the next day. My roommate jumped off the stairwell of our apartment complex into a pretty small bush. Not sure what did it on the way down. But he ended up with a four gash on the top of his head. It was like 3am and I had to take him to the ER where he got stapled. Bit a stripper on the ass at his bachelor party. She was twerking in front of him and he just went for it. Left the mark. 2. I stole a car once to impress a girl. A friend stupidly helped me. To clarify. I drunkenly began stealing a car whose owner had stupidly left the car unlocked and left the keys under the mat. Then realized I was too drunk to drive a stick shift. I talked a stupid drunk friend into driving the car around campus a few times with me in the passenger seat. We then abandoned the car and stupid friend and stupid me told this stupid girl that I had drunkenly stolen it. Stupid girl was stupidly impressed. We had sx that night and stupidly. We dated for about 2 years. Stupidly horrible relationship that started under the stupidest of circumstances. Every part of the entire experience was stupid. Even the sx was stupidly awful. At least we weren't stupid enough to reproduce. My friend was really drunk. Having decided at the start of the night that she really liked tequila shots. We were trying to convince her to eat some toast and drink some water before we walked her home. She was so drunk she forgot how drinking water works. For a while she would just hold the glass up at approximately mouth level then turn it over and dump the water on her lap. Then look at us all confused as to why that happened. At one point she tried tipping her head back and just poured water directly onto her face instead. We were trying to explain but we were also absolutely piecing ourselves laughing. Sounds like she had a 